people. You know what? This is the first clip of the week because I really haven't had anything to record. Uh, unfortunately, though, I have something to record now. And I say unfortunately, it's because we're taking him to the vet because he's got some ear problems and I want to make sure he's all right. So my buddy David was the only one that was uh, willing or able to help me today. So he's taking me to the vet. Everybody else was at working. Uh, so thanks, David. Welcome. Titan's enjoying his little trip right here because he doesn't really ever get to be in a car. So he's like, whoa, check this out. Don't know where I'm going here. Uh, well, I'll be back, you guys. See you on the next clip. See you. I'll explain more. Later. The nurse lady annoyed at me because he wants to see the cat kitten so bad. Yeah, good job. Now they gave me a dirty look. Told me not to make the kittens terrified of the do of dogs for the rest of their little lives. Thanks, buddy. Quite the buddy you are. Titan tried to, like he always does, he tries to escape whenever he's in a car. Once the car stopped, it's, it's that time. Let's find a way to get free. Get a dog Titan needs a friend. He does need friends. I do need friends. Where we at? This place smells interesting. I have a feeling bad things happen here. But for some reason, I'm still excited. We're at the vet. We're at the vet's Titan. We are? This is where they poke me with needles and stuff. It's okay though, because they always give me treats. And that's what I want, is a treat with peanut butter. Well, maybe you can get one today. Really? Are they gonna make me stand up here on this table? They might. Yay, I'm excited to break the counter because I'm 75 pounds. You are a hefty boy. I know, thanks. Puppers overnight, they're gonna put him under anesthesia and check out his ear and all sorts of things. It's gonna cost me $150 to get them all fixed up. Uh, my poor pupper. I hope nothing happens to him while he's there, though, because that would break my little heart. My little hearts. Well, I think he'll be alright. Uh, so yeah. Apparently his, his ear infection is enough, or whatever it is, is enough that they're going to keep him overnight. So. And he's a bit of a baby. Uh, so it must hurt him really bad, though, if he's if he cries like that when anyone tries to look. Poor guy, huh? Yeah. Wonder what he did or somebody poked him in the ear. If somebody poked him in the ear and couldn't cause him some sort of injury and that's why it's like that, uh, we gonna have problems. We gonna have big problems. What's up, guys? You know what? Now that I have a little bit of time to sit down and relax and just, ah, uh, just chill, because I'm at work, uh, there's been, it's 9.30, I've already been here for almost five hours, and there's been one trailer all night long. Uh, so, quick update on Titan, uh, called the vet, they said that, uh, he's doing good. They had to put him under while uh, they checked out his ear because he was just too, uh, he was in too much pain, poor guy. He was crying and struggling to get away. I've never seen my dog like that. I felt bad for him. Apparently it's a yeast infection, which from what I know about dogs and understand, it's not an uncommon thing. They're, they, I think it comes from moisture and dirt getting in their ear. And he has kind of one of them big long, you know, you know how he is. And he always is playing around in dirt and stuff, so he that cost me $170, cha-ching. So I had to go pawn my PS Vita, my 3DS, my Wii U. I tried to pawn my monitor, my 3D monitor, but they won't take that uh, because people use computer screens now, not com not computer or not computer screens. People use TVs now as their computer monitors. Shoot, I've been doing that for years. People are just now getting on that game. Uh, so they wouldn't take that. But uh, yeah, he's sleeping it off. He's a bit drunk and groggy. 
uh, since I wasn't going to be home tonight and there was really nobody that could keep a good watch on him, uh, they advised that I allow them to keep him overnight for observation. Uh, then I will have to put eight drops of anti-bacterial uh, stuff in his ear for a few days. And I think he has to take some pill, too. Uh, what else, though, with him? Uh, then I'm going to get him some flea and tick stuff. That should cover him for about a month, and then I'll have to give him another one. Yeah. It was actually going to be about $250. But, uh... Yeah. Uh... But, no. I cut out certain services that I feel like he didn't need. Uh... Yeah. I feel bad for him, man. He's my boy, my buddy. I've had him since he was just a little guy. Uh, you, I have literally been doing these videos longer than he's been alive. So you guys have actually seen him uh, most most of his life. I've got most of his life. I've got his entire life, pretty much, uh, a little bit on uh, YouTube. How interesting is that? Uh, also, I don't know if I already covered this, too, but unfortunately, Socket Internet did not feel that I was worth hiring. Uh, now, it's not, uh, it's really had to do with the fact that on the second interview, I had just gotten off my graveyard shift here, uh, and I was not quite so prepared that time. The first time I went in, it was, bam, I nailed that stuff. Uh, there was no hesitation, uh, well thought out answers, that's also because I did a little bit of, um, I've been working, I've been using this app called, I forgot what it's called, but it, uh, it, uh, let me see if I can find what it's called real quick. Been seeing a lot of advertisements for it. It, it requires a subscription service, but I've been, uh, I have been looking it up on YouTube to get some of the effects. Headspace. There we go. That's what it's called. Headspace. And I did that before I went on my first interview and I did it as I was on the drive to the interview. And I came in there perfectly calm and ready for it. But on the second interview I was tired. I didn't hit I didn't do that med meditation and I stuttered a lot of my answers. Uh, constantly going um to think about, to get time to think about my answers, uh, and I just wasn't really prepared, and I believe that was the downfall from my understanding. Uh, I did ask them, I was like, hey, you mind if I ask what it is that uh, caused me the uh, position, so that in the future I can be prepared and try and prevent that from happening again, and he was cool about that, gave me the answers I was looking for, assisted me with, uh, with uh, seeing with what I did wrong. So I will try and reapply again probably in three, four months uh, for that position, see what they have to offer. I am working on getting July 13th and 14th off uh, so that we can go to the county fair in Lynn. And uh, yeah, 13th and 14th um, off. Let's see, do I have the 4th of July off? I work this week. I'll have to get back to you guys on that one. Uh, June 1st, I had to go pawn a bunch of stuff so I could pay the bills and pay my dog, vet bill, unexpected expenses. Hopefully, I am thinking, hopefully around, around 4th of July, maybe a little bit after that, a week or two after that, I'm hoping to have my license and a car. So, we'll see what goes there. And then within a couple months after that, there's the possibility that the whole family is going to kind of be separating into their own uh, living situations. So we'll see what's going on there. If that happens, I'm going to potentially try to move to Jefferson City so I'm closer to my work. Because that would be really convenient. Um, that's really about all I've got. Uh... This is probably going to be the last clip of the week. I might record something later tonight if there's some bad weather, which there's a potential to be. I'd love to catch that on video. But if not, hey, thanks for watching my weekly vlog slash 
journal, because that's kind of what this is, isn't it? A little journal. Um, talk to you guys on the flip side. Thanks for watching, and see you next week. Ah.